It's unlike the Forte, when you bring the audio back, it still retains the nicer qualities of the higher end piece of equipment that you know I have here. So I can kind of feel in some way that I'm taking the studio with me when I go. We're here at Mesa on the KMR booth where Dave's going to teach us something about the American built TAC range of products. Um, I must admit I'm not really familiar with these. These are entirely hand built in the US? Entirely hand built in New York, yes. Okay, so what's the story here? Um, I can see 500 series racks. Okay, well what we've done is taken a 500 series rack and provided the stuff to build a 10 panel console with. So. Each of our channel amps features a mic pre and a line amp, a three channel EQ, a, a three band EQ, excuse me, and um, this pot here is a fader, so it's pretty much what you'd expect in a full channel strip sitting on it in a console. Um, what we're debuting at the show today are these panners, um, which is just a regular old pan pot and an opto mute, and this fader box, which plugs into the insert on our channel amps. Um, so taking the existing equipment that you have, you can set up a de desktop 10 channel mixer. Okay, now notice you're using the purple rack. Is, yes. there, is there a particular reason for going with that one? Yeah, we um, our channel amps will work with any old rack that are out there. Um, the purple rack we've decided to design into because it has four jacks available on the back and that allows us to patch the mix bus through with this panner. So the panner kind of has a dual use. Um, Obviously, we've built it to function with the channel amps, but it will work in a Sweet 10 on its own. So you can fill a Sweet 10 with panners and have a standalone summing mixer independent of channel amps at all. So yeah. got some dual use happening with that. And how does the fader pack hook into this? Because then that gives you a complete mixer, basically, doesn't it? Yes. The, there is a, a TRS jack on the Sweet 10 that goes to an insert loop on the channel amp. So it's just a standard TRS connector um, that plugs into the channel amp and plugs into the fader box. Um, that insert will drive 600 ohms. So today we have it uh, on, on the faders, which are 10K, but you could also take basically any piece of equipment and stick it in the insert loop of the, of the channel amp. That could be a compressor, another EQ if you wanted to do that for some reason. Um, so it's. Uh, Kind of limitless with what you could do with the insert. Okay, so tell me a bit more about the mic preamp circuit. Is that transformer based, transformerless? Uh, yeah, how does it work? It's uh, we we basically took the the rule book that a designer would have had in 1970 and built this up around that. So Brian Souter wound us uh, a transformer for the for the input. Um, the mic pre is discrete transistor, and um, there's an inductor for the mid range on the EQ. And we have a transformer on the output that's wound by a Crimson in the, in the US. Okay. Uh, well, if you can give us availability on the panner and maybe pricing for across all the models, um, dollar prices will be fine if you like. We are completely in stock on the channel amps at $15.99 US dollars. And the panners will ship uh, probably May 1st. And we're looking at $5.99 a piece for these. Okay. Thanks very much, Dave. All right. Thank you.